everyone, this is Ranger Rob, and welcome to the Ranger Rob Country Living Channel. And here we talk about homesteading and prepping and news that affects us. And uh, we also talk about hydroponics and stuff like that. And uh, I'll probably regret making this video, but this is what I've talked about forever is being brave, push back on things that you question, and uh, be self-reliant uh, and true to your faith. And uh, I know I'm gonna get blowback, but I live in a place called Crooked River Ranch. It's in Oregon. And I've, I've been here, I was here 20 years ago and I've come back. And I know a lot of folks that have uh, lived here for a long, long time. And uh, I just read, and I've been hearing about it. And uh, before I go any farther, I wanna say, first of all, I'm not a subject matter expert on what I'm gonna be talking about. Two, I'm going to only quote things that I've heard reports on through doctors or uh, organizations pertaining to what I'm going to talk about. And I could be wrong on some stuff. And uh, if I get feedback from you, can you try, <laughs> please try, to be civil? I am not going to use one cuss word or insult anybody uh, or belittle them for what they believe or what they're doing. I just question what's happening to uh, our, our society. And so I just read, and this probably been going on for a while, because I know I got caught up in a conversation on one of the Facebook pages, that uh, our fire department, which is a small fire department, uh, what handles our our community called Crooked River Ranch have to let go all of their volunteers because they didn't get the jab in the arm. It's like what? <laughs> These are volunteers working for free, and they have to be let go because they didn't get the jab. And uh, those people are probably more involved in seeing medical and knowing nurses and things like that. And they probably have some really good reasons not to get the jab. And there's a lot of reasons, people. Could be, could be religious. It could be a health issue. It could be a, being allergic. Or someone's already got the stuff that the jab is supposed to prevent. And their antibodies will protect them based on research it's better than uh, the jab and it's a new it's a new uh, remedy and uh, just like our like our pets our pets get vaccinated for things and through their lifespans several of these rabies shots and things like that uh, have been given to animals and they've done fine. That's proven track record. Well, the stuff they want to put in our arm, yes, one, one of them got FDA approval, but there's still a lot of questions. Uh, there's people that have responded very poorly to it and others, uh, we don't know what the long-term effects are. And there's research that it could affect the reproduction, reproductive um, abilities for women. That's one re report. I'd be really concerned about that if it was my daughter. Uh, that's just one report. Like I said, there's several out there of different things that could occur or have occurred. And so that's enough to make people be concerned of not getting the jab. Now there's others that have... Uh, uh, Caregivers, like Shireen and I are caregivers, um, or the actual person that's older uh, that seem to be more susceptible to it, 
it really made sense for them to go ahead and get the Jap. But even some of them say, I don't want the Jap. And, uh, fair enough. And, uh, but our volunteer fire department let go of their volunteers and now they're shorthanded because of a mandate. Cinder, come. Come on. Come on out. <laughs> My dog's learning how to get by this gate. And, uh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I don't want to get too serious in this video. So, uh, I'm not sure how much our department is pushing back. But I can tell you one thing, I live on Crooked River Ranch. And if I'm having a heart attack, or if I get in a car accident on the ranch and the fire department comes, I don't give a rat's anything. Uh, or a pr I have no problem. I don't care if someone's got the jab or not. Why? One is like, oh, it's a health, public health threat. Really? So, research, scientists, reports, organizations, people are getting the same, the thing that they got the jab for, they're still getting it. And those who are still getting it with the jab can still transmit it. So what the hell's the difference? So that fireman or EMP, uh, EMP, EMS person, uh, is there to save me and help me? Uh, I have the same chance of them maybe exposing me to this cove stuff. Uh, I'm not going to complain. <laughs> Please help me. I don't care if you're a volunteer. I don't care if you got a jab or not. I don't care if you're white, purple, or brown. I don't care what country you came from. And I don't care if you're male or female. I'm just glad you're here to help. And uh, it kind of reminds me a little bit when we first heard about AIDS. Remember how we over, a lot of us overreacted when we heard about AIDS and we thought, oh no, we got to stay away from those people. We could catch it and all that stuff. And it took a few years and all of us realized uh, we're wrong. Uh, I don't, I just, <coughs> I know also only from, <coughs> oops, sorry, I coughed, could be COVID. Um, better get the jab, right? Uh, that's how ridiculous things are getting. Our healthcare workers are having the same problem. Apparently, I don't know all the facts and I'm not trying to be an expert, but, uh, uh, in October, we are losing a whole bunch of our workforce that are in healthcare because they don't want to get the jab. They're in healthcare. They have concerns about that. Doesn't that make you think a little bit that they're really concerned about what they're putting into their bodies? And they're also, uh, have, you know, may have already had it, got the antibodies, or they're through faith or through the fact that our bodies are very, a lot of us have very strong bodies and uh, feel that we could, if we were going to get it or get it, that we can fight our way through it and then receive the wonderful thing that our body does called antibodies. This is just a conversation, but the sad part is that these essential workers are being let go, including volunteers, because they didn't get the jab. Is that really what you want? Is that really that you're so proud of yourself because you got the jab or think you should get the jab or the uh, mainstream news says you could get the jab or some crazy dude with glasses on, uh, that is motivated by money tells you to get the jab that you are willing to segregate people, segregate. That's what you're doing. This is no worse than the forties. Um, a whole country did that against people because they thought they were inferior people. Is a person with, without a jab, 
inferior to you? The research says to, that I'm seeing says, no, they're not inferior. They're saying they're just as no different than you are. Uh, the difference is they're relying on their body to uh, handle the long-term effects of the CV stuff than the jab. That's one way. There's other reasons too. Uh, once again, guys, I talk about this a lot. Freedom and liberty means tolerance. Freedom and liberty means tolerance. This country was based on freedom and liberties. And I heard the, uh, the uh, counter uh, rant against that, that, uh, that freedom doesn't mean that you have to be a public health threat. I don't see where the public health threat is. Uh, if anything, it, it sways against somebody who doesn't have a jab is they're uh, uh, most likely to get sicker. Uh, that's one piece of evidence that would be sway of that, but that's for the individual. Um, where those who got the jab are least likely to get uh, totally sick or even die. That's the biggest difference. I will concede to that. And, uh, but that's an individual decision. That's the being accountable for yourself. That's their choice. It's like, uh, should all people that are short, that can't quite reach the pedals of a car, not be allowed to drive a car? <laughs> I mean, there's all kinds of these really dumb little things that we could really get after. Or, uh, you know, uh, someone that has uh, other ailments, do we start weeding those people out too? Uh, where do we draw the line? And the thing is, we shouldn't be drawing the line. This is a country based on freedom and liberty. My concern is, is segregating people and, and telling people what they can and cannot do based on data that's still not very clear. I think it's way too young for that kind of decision making. Uh, am I advocate for uh, the jab? I personally think it's uh, your decision. I'm not against it at all. And I'm not for it to a point where I think people should be putting it into their bodies and not knowing the end result five years from now, 10 years from now. Maybe a young woman that wants to have children in the future, will that affect it? We don't know yet. Uh, I can't make that decision for my daughter if, she was, I had, if I had a small child. Why are we even giving the jab to kids? Once again, the science, the data says they're fine. They'll get through it and they'll get antibodies. And the end result is very mild to children. So why are we all trying to insist that the children get it? I really think the drive for this whole thing from government has to do with money and greed. I think it has to do with so. So well, it's free, Rob. No, it's not. We're paying for it. It's not free. And uh, the government's paying for it through our taxes. And some people are making some massive, massive money. Do you not think that might be a little bit of a driver? Do you not know anybody who's driven by money? Uh, or uh, all you folks been out there that we're just so used to not having money that we don't realize that there's people out there that are quite greedy. And even when they got a lot of money, they want more. And if they don't have more, then they want power. I know that's hard to comprehend Maybe I do better at comprehending it because I used to have a lot of money and I know what it did to me. And it, actually, I'm not exactly proud of it. Uh, so anyway, guys, I think it's a sad moment in our country.
country. I think it's a shame that we're losing essential workers because of this and we're destroying people's businesses. And businesses should make the decision of what they want to do. Most responsible companies or businesses still would like to have you wear a mask. This isn't about wearing a mask, by the way. The mask, I'm, I have no problem with it. I don't think a lot of people that don't have the jab really mind it that much. Yes, there's exceptions. There's people that just won't wear them. There is people that can't wear them. Uh, I guess the big part is, is at least I'd like to remind people is you need to hold on to freedom, uh, freedom and liberty. And if you have any faith whatsoever and understand your body and have been educated enough to know about your body, that our bodies are designed for this kind of stuff to happen. And some of us will make it and some of us won't. And the last thing is nobody wants to die. But you can't be so afraid of death that you are living in fear. And the sad part is, is some people think the death is the blank slate. And there are others who, who know better. And uh, so if you're called, <laughs> called the duty, <laughs> say your time's up and you have faith, what are you afraid of? I think a lot of us are more afraid of the transfer <laughs> going from one to the other. <laughs> but, uh, Anyway, I had to say something. I'm sure it will be quite the debate and quite the insulting and arrogance and the whole works of uh, on the comments. I know I'll be belittled and insulted. People will be so locked into their beliefs. And I'm open. I'm telling you in this video, my mind is open to facts. My mind is open to reports. My mind is open to uh, faith. My mind is open to health care, health care workers, essential workers. Uh, and I respect both sides of this. I respect the fact that people did get the job and those who are on the fence and those that don't want to get it. I respect all of them. And I will still work side by side with any of them, including people that may have AIDS, or have other th things that we've proven are not transmittable. I'd be a little wary about working side by side with somebody with a Ebola. <laughs> but, um, can you say the same? Can you even in the comments make comments without hurting people? Can you actually make a comment that says the jab is the way to go without insulting people? Saying they're ignorant or saying that they're um, can you even comment in a negative way, in a professional manner, and state and find facts that say other work, that I'm wrong, and do it in a professional way? I, I almost challenge you for that. But, uh, or can you, can your mind be open enough to say, maybe I've been a little bit too much judgmental. Maybe I haven't paid attention to our history of, uh, of how we treated people in different circumstances. Uh, this is as bad as I feel as treating someone different because they're black or some other origin. Uh, that needed to stop, and so does this. So, uh, anyway, guys, whether you hate me or love me or... Don't want to watch the channel anymore. I'll probably lose some subscribers over this. I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. <laughs> um, I'm sorry that you can't be open enough to have a discussion about this or hear someone else's opinion without losing it. And I feel sorry for those that live in fear. I don't apologize for that at all. But uh, uh, for those who got it and think for positive reasons why they got it. I respect them and nor would I change my 
unsubscribe to you because of that. But I'd be curious to see the reaction of everybody after this video. Um, uh, guys, have a great day. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for listening. And uh, thank you for your opinion. And please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over. And last but not least, God bless you. Talk to you later, guys. Bye now. Our videos are made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags. Available at Amazon right now. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.